It's so hot. I cannot believe it's this temperature right now. I'm at the mall because I want to get cowboy boots, which is such a long story. I mean, it's not that long. I mentioned I wanted to take tennis lessons and I still do. I'm waiting for the lady to get back with me because they have these like team drills, but they recommended to take like private classes if you're actually trying to learn rather than just play. And even though I have some experience, I haven't played in like a decade probably like almost two decades. So I want to still take tennis lessons so I'm just waiting to hear back about the private sessions that I found at this tennis place near me. And then I also have been looking at horse riding lessons and I was looking at horse riding lessons a little bit before tennis. I think actually like three four months. I just wasn't sure and I just thought about it like if I don't go and do the things that I've even thought like oh that might be cool I'll never do it. And I found myself kind of going through the motions of life and it's not that fun when you feel like you don't have much to look forward to or you're not excited about something so I just kind of found myself like rotting basically like wasting my 20s so I say all this to say let's not rot back to horseback uh, riding lessons it was a thought that I had like oh maybe I could learn how to do this I live in Texas I've lived here for like 10 plus years I don't own a pair of cowboy boots because I think they're cute it's just never really had a reason to wear them because I would just have regular riding boots so I booked a lesson not this Friday coming up but next Friday at 9 and it's really hot out and I was I wanted to do like Sunday Saturday type of lessons but they only had 9 a.m. on Friday and I thought about it like at 9 in the morning it's gonna be hot like 89 but it won't be like right now 99 you know what I mean and that's a big difference I'm so ready for it to cool down I'm over this heat so anyway we're at the mall because I'm going to get a pair of cowboy boots. I think I am. I found some online that I really, really like, and I even post them on my story. <laughs> I'll post, like, a picture here or something. And then I realized they have a store here. I did not know that. And that's why we're here. So we're going to go look at the cowboy boots. I already called them to see if they had the style and then the two colors I was interested in. And she's like, we have a bunch. And I was like, this is great. It's meant to be. And... I'm also going to see the Barbie movie on Wednesday with my sister, and I think it'll be in this vlog, so I might... It's actually way too hot to... <sighs> it's like I kind of want to go to like Forever 21 and see if I can get a pink dress, but I don't want to walk there. And driving around this outdoor mall would just be so silly, because you'd have to get out and walk. And the indoor mall that I like also didn't have the... I think it's called Tacanas. What are you called? The name of the store is called Tacovas. So we're gonna go in there. My camera's overheating, so I'm gonna have to like put you guys away because it's hot. The shower I'm gonna take tonight is going to be so good, like amazing, because this is not it. Oh, look what I got. I'm drinking one of the waters that I got in my trunk, but look what they gave me at, what's, how's it, how do you pronounce it? Tacova's Western Goods, Authentic ATX. They had shirts and everything, but I was like, I'm not about to just get shirts and be like, yeah, guys, I'm a cowgirl. But yeah, so they gave me this cute little koozie and I'm gonna keep it in the car because it fits in the cup holder and it helps when the drink's a little bit skinnier than the cup holder from shaking around which is really nice. I went to Sir La Table and I want to show you guys this because I think this one is so cute for coffee. It's this insulated coffee press. It's in the color gunmetal and it's eight cups. It was on sale. It was originally $50. It was on sale for $34.99. And then the inside, of course, like this part that you guys know all coffee presses come with. The little, uh, what's it called? Filter? Yeah, <laughs> filter. And it has like the little 
angle so that it can be open and then closed so it keeps like all the hot coffee inside. And then I'm sure like instructions on how to use, but oh, the little jelly pack. Here's the inside. I thought that would be perfect for coffee in the morning because right now I have my French press, but it doesn't keep things hot. So after I pour my first cup, Whatever is left, I have to like reheat it, which isn't a big deal, but I thought this would be nice that it just stays hot. Hopefully it stays hot on the counter and I can just kind of pour it for the morning and then, I don't know, just make myself coffee. Here's the big boy, a big girl. It's like huge. It's like when you buy Hunter rain boots. Packaging's huge. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, and I also got socks. I got the women's boot socks says they're just one size fits all and she said they have a little bit of a compression so they're gonna be good if you're on your feet for a while they just come in gray and then blue they say something oh they say howdy y'all that's cute i showed you guys in store because it was between two colors and two sizes i tried on a six and a half and a seven and i ended up getting the six and a half it fits snug, but she says as you wear it and over time, it like morphs to your foot and it stretches out a little bit, as long as it's not like super snug, like it's hurting you. And the size seven, it fit, but there was like a little bit of room. And if it didn't stretch out a little bit, then I would get the seven. But if it was gonna stretch out any more, like the size seven, it wouldn't have fit, like it wouldn't have been good. So here are, these are the Annie, I believe. They're so cute. They're made of leather and they're this nice, like chocolatey, kind of taupe brown it's not too rich and it's not shiny if you can see the other ones I was trying on were more of like a rich hazelnut and shiny kind of coloring these are more like I don't know they kind of look like you've worn them in and not in like a they look old way they look I don't know because they're not shiny they were a bit pricey but I was thinking if I'm gonna get a pair of cowboy boots I might as well invest in them and just get one pair that's awesome quality and I saw a bunch of reviews and everyone was raving about these shoes. They're so pretty. And I was wearing a little bit like thicker socks because I brought my own socks and she said my socks were a little thick. So try them on with like just normal socks you would wear because I brought these like long, long socks that were way too long for the boots. So I wouldn't wear them with them anyway. I guess I could actually try them on with these socks. See, this is what I was wanting. Like socks that didn't come up super high like the ones I brought in the store. These ones are like perfect and I'll be wearing jeans so they won't rub up against anything here are the boots don't they look so cute I'm obsessed with these I am in love with these I just realized they look a little bit darker on camera when I was trying them on but this is like the true coloring right here like perfect why it's like every time I try to do a ponytail or a bun for an actual reason it never turns out well when I'm just doing it to like take a shower the best bun or ponytail I've ever done but hello everyone it's Monday fun day and I'm actually over here watching TikTok because I'm looking to see what is trending that's so funny I was thought I thought about it and I was like how is this a part of my job <laughs> but I was just on TikTok to see what is trending sounds or like voiceover type of things. Um, I know some like fun ones that are trending, but I'm trying to look for something like on brand for one of my people. I have my like to-do list stacked. I have planned content. I have to get my tires checked at Discount Tire because yesterday the tire light came on because it was so hot. And you know when it's like really hot, your tire, I believe, expands. So I'm gonna get my tires checked. Um, if, if I get in the car today and the light's off, I won't just because I park in a garage. So even though it's still humid and hot, it's not as hot as like when your car's outside. It's, this weather is horrific. I'm over it. Hence why I'm like already starting on my fall madness. I'm using my pumpkin mug and it's 94, feels like 99. Today's high will be 102. So I want to, I already, <laughs> I have like home tasks, clean the cat's litter, I just did it this morning. And then plan campaigns 
for August. It's a new month and I have some ideas that I want to bring to my people and see what they think about my ideas and then kind of go from there about budget for the month and kind of like I have like our call to action but I want to see if there's maybe anything that they want specifically for this month because you know sometimes my ideas are more general like oh we have this thing going on for a few months but if they have something that they want to like target in a specific month then I of course prioritize that so I have that I did actually plan content up until next week so I'm working on some reels too like creating some reels from some raw footage hence why I'm trying to see if I should do the music route the trending music route or the trending like voiceover audio. And then there's also, I can't really do some website updates like the meet the team page for one website. I'm waiting on all that information to get to me. So that's kind of on hold, but I'm actually gonna write that down as like a check in just to see where everyone's at with writing their profiles and sending me links to connect to all their wherever they want. And then I also have not really a grocery list, but I have like laundry pods, orange juice, reusable gloves. There's a, a little hole in my pink gloves that I use to wash the dishes, which sucks. So I have to go get new gloves because I really enjoy using gloves to wash the dishes and clean, but I have a blue pair for cleaning. So I probably need to get like another color for the dishes. Orange juice, I really wanna get the Volmans, but it's Monday and they restock on Thursday. So I'm not even sure they'll have. And then laundry pods. I think I have like one pod left and I have, I think like two more loads of laundry. So I need laundry pods. So I should have gone out earlier because it's almost noon. I haven't eaten yet, which I know I need to eat before I go, but I'm one of those people where if I have something in my mind to do, I'm like, okay, let's just get up and go do it. And yesterday, same thing, I ate breakfast, but I didn't really eat lunch. And Lord, spending like a few hours at the mall and in the heat, I just didn't feel that great when I came home. So I don't want that to happen again. And I'm also editing yesterday's portion of the vlog, just so I'm ahead. I like being ahead. I feel like Mondays are so productive for me, like work-wise. I just, I get my coffee, I sit down at the computer and I'm on the computer for hours and it's usually so productive. I actually enjoy Mondays. And I went through a period where I was like, okay, I'm like everyone else, I hate Mondays. <laughs> now I like Mondays. I don't know why, I'm like crazy. But I don't know if I'm gonna go into the gym today. I feel like Monday, since they're my like big, heavy computer work days, I usually don't go to the gym on Mondays. And then by Tuesday, I'm like kicking into action, but I do start my period this week. And I know that like Tuesday, Wednesday sucks. If it starts on Tuesday, sometimes it starts Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. So usually the first day, it's just very uncomfy. And I try not to take any Tylenol just because back in the day when I wasn't on birth control, my periods were so excruciating. Like I couldn't move, couldn't do anything, couldn't really eat, breathe. <laughs> I laugh about it now, but like, yeah. So birth control basically saved my life and my quality of life. Um, so I try now to just kind of like bear through what like pain or uncomfortability I have just because I, I constantly remind myself like, remember, remember how it used to be. See if you can get through this without taking anything. So knowing that I try to plan my life kind of around that. So I'm like, maybe I should get groceries today because if it starts tomorrow night during the day I might feel like low motivation kind of like uncomfy like cranky <laughs> I know myself so well it's so funny actually I have a dent okay so I have a dentist appointment tomorrow like a teeth cleaning and if they find a cavity they're gonna have to wait to fill it like after this week because I'm not doing I'm not having that happen I mean, my period and the no y'all know I hate the dentist y'all know my thing no comment, no comment. I also need to book my doctor's appointment. It's like time for my yearly check. I think I actually have one booked. I need to call to make sure because uh, my next one's like September and I need to make that make sure that's on my calendar because I'm gonna get busy, look up and I refuse to forget to take care of myself. <gasps> oh, please. I'm getting emails about like people's fall winter collections and I'm like, please leave me alone. I, no. actually switch tops because I want to bring this jacket because I know it's going to be cold in front or inside of Target and I didn't think it looked that good with the tan top. I mean honestly this outfit's kind of a hot mess. I just want something so that if it's cold inside of Target I won't be like dying because I get cold easily. Yeah let's go before I don't want to anymore. I changed again like <gasps> Oh my gosh, I put on the matching bottoms because I was feeling, I felt like I looked like not 
put together in like a cute way like oh it's mix match it looked kind of okay girl so i just have the matching top and bottom same shoes my own tasmans and then i threw on this blue uh crop jacket and i think it works because at least these two match and this can be like a pop of color this is the last time i'm changing i promise this is like it but yeah let's go i have my coffee i have my water in the car i need to retire my never full until i get it fixed because the strap is like you guys know the strap's like not broken but like frayed and i just haven't honestly wanted to just go do that it's like such a back of my mind thing like i know i need to but there's so many other things that i want to do need to do like closer to the forefront of my mind <laughs> so i'm like mm. but then i wear it out and i'm like oh right i need to get you fixed and yeah so anyway let's i'm like procrastinating because i don't want to go out in this heat <laughs> i i don't want to like i hate when i don't take the day before i need the things that i need to do things like you know like get laundry pods get all the stuff that i want well, I need because for right now I don't have something to take my collagen powder with and I do that every day I've been doing that for the last month and a half month and a few days and I don't want to break stride with that so let's figure out my life right now This is everything that I just got from Central Market. I got some duck legs that I wanna cook with one of the marinades that I got. And then I also have chicken thighs, which I also wanna cook with another marinade that I got. I have two yogurts and they're non-dairy, like vegan yogurt. They're coconut yogurt and they're Greek style, which I'm really excited to try because I like Greek yogurt. So they're strawberry and vanilla. And then I got some French baby carrots for the duck legs. And then I got some organic zucchini for the chicken. Over here, I got two Sauvignon Blancs. They were both on sale this week. I have the 90 plus sellers and then the Matahiwi Estate. And then here are the two marinades that I got. I got the honey garlic for the chicken thighs and then I got the red wine for the duck legs. And then I got a thing of orange juice, which I'm really happy about. They were restocking the other brand, the 1836, and I saw that they still had some Volman's orange juice left, so I grabbed a jug. And then I got myself flowers, which I don't really do. I'm not super big on flowers, but I just, I wanted to. We talked a little bit about, you know, reclaiming my 20s, making life fun again, so I figured why not get myself flowers. I know these two, especially this one, I'm trying to act like she doesn't know, is going to take a bite out of them. I know they get on my counters at night. I just know it. They don't do it during the day when I'm home, but I know these two. They're gonna take a bite out of my flowers. That is everything that I got from Central Market. I'm so glad I stopped on the way home because I was passing it after Target. I'm so, so glad I stopped there, but let me put everything away and then I'm gonna go grab the stuff from Target. Back in with all the stuff from Target. I'm gonna show you guys what I got really quickly. Nothing in here needs to go in the fridge, but I remembered I had candles and it's like 100 degrees. So I was like, hopefully they don't start melting. Oh my gosh, that would be so bad. I got these three ball mason jar things. They're like 64 ounces. Yeah, 64 OZ. I was thinking I could have like rice in here and my collagen powder. And then I got the third one because it was the last one left and 
I figured having something in threes was better than twos. So I got these and I was thinking I could have them out on the counter. I don't know, I feel like with fall, it looks nice to have more on the counter because it kind of makes it more, not like cluttered, but like cozy. Like you see the stuff that you use on a daily basis, you can just pull it on the counter and use it. And I feel like with summer, at least for me, it's more like clean lines, less like minimal, just because, I don't know. I don't know actually, but for me, it's like when it starts getting cozy, and like cold outside I just want to like snuggle up with the blanket that's already on the couch the pillows that are already on the couch but summertime I'm like listen that stuff can be folded and put away so that's what I mean like for the counter having more out but like make it look nice not like super cluttered so I'm going to work on that all these bags are going into my car because I'm going to use them for my car trash can which has been amazing <laughs> next I got two coffees because I couldn't decide which one I wanted I got the good and gather pumpkin spice like I said, not the biggest fan of pumpkin spice, but I have to. It's limited edition. It's the season. So, yeah. This was like a need. I needed lighters. I had no more, and I realized don't buy candles without getting new lighters. So I got this. Another boring item. I just got more band-aids. I love that they have the tone ones. Ever since they came out with them, that's all I buy, and I'm in the color BR55. In store, I see there's one shade lighter and one shade darker than this. I'm sure online they have more shades, but I, I just, I don't know, something about having band-aids that match your skin is actually really nice. It's just really nice, because growing up, we didn't have this. It was just the, like, the manila folder color. Then I got some kitchen towels by Hearth and Hand, and they're kind of like an orangey tone to them, but like I said, perfect for fall. You know, fall time's like orangey brownie colors. I think this would be so cute just hanging out here. Yeah, I think so. I got four candles and they were all on clearance for like $4.49. I got almond macaroons or macarons, not too sure. Two of those. And then I got salted lemon meringue. And they're just one wick, I think 11 ounce candles. Yeah, 11.5 ounces. And they smell good. They were on clearance. I was like, you know what, we'll try it. Let's see if they burn really well, so I got four of those. I just got some dryer sheets because I ran out. This is like my favorite one, the Downy Calm. I got Vaseline for my bathroom. I always keep a little mini in my drawer for my lips and honestly, yeah, just for my lips. I like having like an actual tub of Vaseline at home and then I keep like a mini, mini one in my cosmetics pouch and then in my travel pouch. Then I got some gloves because I needed reusable gloves for washing dishes and these are latex free, which is nice. I got this and it's white. The ones in my bathroom to clean are blue, so I will not mix them up. Then I got a mini lint roller and I got this for the car. I should have got two because I ran out of one or I can't find mine that was in my travel pouch, even though Maybe I left it somewhere. Actually, I probably left it somewhere. Floss sticks because I'm running low and I floss every single day. You should floss every day if you don't. <laughs> I got some Gain Pods, Gain Plus Odor Defense. And then the last thing I got is mouthwash. It's the Therma Breath Dentist Formulated Anti-Cavity. I've seen a bunch of these. This and like, I think the green one's the most popular, the Bad Breath. So I got this mouthwash and my camera's dying, which is actually perfect. I can charge you guys and get all this stuff kind of situated. <laughs> flowers a little bit more just so that they're lower in the vase and I've had this vase for a while I got it from home goods a few years ago so I trimmed it so it's a little bit lower and I think it's perfect like this very cute
happy Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. Happy hump day, everyone. I'm at the movie theater. I showed you guys what I was wearing before I left. I'm looking for my sister because we're about to see Barbie, hence the all pink. I did get like butter on my outfit, like on the pants, because I was trying to eat French bread and yeah, so I don't know if it'll ever come out. That's the one thing about oil. Is that the exit? Yeah, so entry. That's the one thing about oil. I don't know if it ever comes out, but it's the first, okay. Okay, that's the door. I was gonna say, hold on. So let me go find my sister. I walked in that way I and I didn't see you in way. there. No, but yeah. Dude, look. It smelled like oil. Oh, no. I know. You no, put it's... dry shampoo on it. Does it? Okay, I have some. Thank you. But yeah, so. I doubt you want to be in my vlog. Do you? I was going to wear. You want to be in my vlog? Guys, you've never met my sister. She's wearing pink too. And look. You said. I mean, yeah, it is. It's but, not you know, this is the only pink thing I own. No, like, the only pink thing. And I, I was thinking about. others, but I didn't have anything that would go together. Yeah. I was going to wear pink shoes, but I was like, nah, because I'm not wearing pink. Like, it would have no, looked like I was trying pink too hard. Well, yeah, to, like, you are. It's the Barbie. But my nails are pink. I, I know who's going to Barbie. You'd be surprised. Like, no, we're seeing Opp Oppenheimer for Halloween that the girl should be Barbie and the guy should be Oppenheimer. I was like, that's cool. Oh, that's like cute. Oppenheimer. Do you have the tickets? I do. So I'm back in the car and we saw Barbie and I showed you guys my sister. You guys have never met my sister, but I'm always just like, I don't know, I'm always just like, let me not vlog when I'm spending time with like family and stuff because I know that they don't really want to be on camera but they know that I vlog, like they're very supportive, but you know what I mean. So I, I just want, don't want to invade their space because it's like, just because I'm fine with like talking to strangers online doesn't mean everyone is. But we watched Barbie and let me tell you, tears were coming down. It's just so cute when I love what this movie coming out just did for everyone. I feel like it gave us something to look forward to. It's nice to have something to look forward to like this. It's just like a girly, everyone movie you know what I mean like yeah it's it's more girly but it's basically what us girls and guys grew up with in terms of like Barbie and I love it it's just so cute just so cute I think I wanted to stop by this Target since I'm in the area I was in the other day when I went to Home Goods because this is a movie theater we came to Palladium it's one of the nicer ones in the city I don't, I think it actually is the nicest one in the city. <laughs> I like Googled to see if there was any like cool new ones that I haven't found. It actually said the one downtown was the nicest movie theater, but I've been to the one downtown a few times and it's not the nicest movie theater. This is definitely nicer. It has reclining seats and I don't know if it's, it probably is newer actually downtown. It's a little bit older of an area, but yeah, so it was really nice. It was really nice. I'm sure my eyes are like red from crying a little bit oh <laughs> uh, yeah also should get the cat's cat food while I'm out oh my god the weekly ad maybe I'll do a grocery delivery from HUB um this weekend yeah see what specials they have I love y'all know I love HUB's weekly ad especially delivery like I said because you can just sit there it's like shopping online and then it just comes to you but I was looking on Target for these little espresso cups aren't these so cute so so cute they said they have them at this target here but let me see how many in stock they have and then I was also wanting these glasses that I saw I think I showed you guys in this vlog these are the clear set I showed you guys the like brown set these little I wonder if it's coming across because I'm wearing sunglasses and the glare but they're the Tremont Tremont Tall and Short Faceted Tumbler Set. It's like four or six of each. They're very cute and they're very like country chic and they honestly look exactly like the cups my dad had growing up, just like a bunch of them. So that's why I'm like inclined to go and look at them and see. But yeah, let's go to Target. I'm hungry, but what I'm gonna do is go to Target and then on the way home, I'll pick up something. For oh no, I have. Oh my gosh, no, I have chicken. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a granola bar from the trunk since I'm a little hungry because I was thinking I was gonna eat on the in the car on the way home. I'm gonna grab a granola bar <laughs> and eat a granola bar as I head to Target so it can hold me over until I get home and eat dinner because I have the honey garlic chicken with the zucchini and jasmine rice, which was so good yesterday. And I'm actually really excited to have it tonight. I'm so glad I remember that.
I grabbed a granola bar and then a little beef jerky stick, which I had one the other day. Pretty dang good. I'm glad I keep like little snacks in my car. I'm gonna put on my robe while I wash my face. Just so I'm not like naked on camera. The Barbie movie was really nice and I'm glad I went with my sister to see it and then just like wait for it to come out on whatever streaming platform because it was such like a nice girls mid-afternoon because <laughs> it was like four o'clock when we went 4 30 so it was really nice to go let's see i made this this my retinols in the fridge i forgot this pulling out all the nat temp skin i think i want to do my cleansing pads too from the rock which i haven't done in a while because I cleansed, actually, let me put this away. Because I did already double cleanse actually in the shower, I just realized. So we're gonna do the rock cleansing pad, but I'm gonna cut it in half. It's like huge. Like, I don't need the whole thing. I just need, honestly, I cut them into fourths, but tonight I'm gonna cut it just in half. This has to be a little damp. Yeah, so yeah, the Barbie movie was nice. I'm glad we went to go see it. There was a few moments where I teared up and it was just nice. It made me miss being little, honestly. Like it made me miss being the little girl that played with Barbie dolls and had like no worries. And you know, like the worst thing that I could imagine happening was like, I don't know, I get in trouble and I can't get like a toy for Christmas or, you know what I mean? Like I just, I miss when those worries or like the biggest things. Because <laughs> adulthood, I think, and if you watch the Barbie movie, you know what I'm talking about, but like, being a human is overrated, but if you haven't seen the movie, then you're just like, what? <laughs> I need to finish editing this vlog so I can get it up tomorrow morning around 10. I really like that um, time frame, like Thursday morning around 10, and then Sunday morning around 10. And I've been doing like the premieres lately because I was just like, okay, this seems like a cool feature I've not used and I'm probably super late to the party, but I think it's cute. <laughs> so I'm not really ready for tomorrow. I don't have anything going on tomorrow, but I'm just ready for a new day. Ready for a bright and shiny morning. I love mornings. And I've been waking up earlier. I don't think you guys have noticed because I don't really, I don't know if I like pick up the camera necessarily as soon as I wake up, but I know like a few weeks ago and a few months ago I was waking up like nine, late nine, like 9.45, almost 10, and then getting the day started. But lately I've been waking up like 7.45, 8, 8.15. I think this morning I got up or I woke up exactly at eight. I'm not necessarily getting up at those times, but I wake up like 7.45, 8, and I kind of just lay in bed, definitely scroll my phone. I know you're not supposed to do that first thing in the morning, but listen, one step at a time. Working on getting back into a routine where I woke up early, because I naturally do. Like for the longest time, I naturally woke up around seven for years and years and years. <laughs> so it's only like the newest habit that I'm waking up later but looks like i'm getting back on track let me grab my retinol in the fridge same retinol the ordinary what is it one percent yeah retinol one percent and squalene and i think today i'm just going to do it in the palm of my hand because i don't feel like trying to race it down my face as it drips gotta slap my skin awake i do this morning and night too i don't know honestly how like UFC fighters, boxers take hits to the face because like me just slapping my skin awake and getting the blood flowing. Oh my gosh, I'm like, ow, I have no idea. Granted though, I know they're making millions of dollars and that is a good, a very good motivator. Let's do all the parts that matter. And I'm doing my little eyebrow thing with the Boost me up by Wet n Wild for my eyebrows. I feel like this is working. <laughs> like, I don't know, but I feel like when I do my eyebrows now with the little e.l.f. clear brow gel, they look so much thicker. 
And it's not just because of the brow gel, because I used to use it and I still use it, but it didn't look as thick. Like my eyebrows didn't look as full. So I'm like, maybe this thing is not like a placebo effect. Maybe it actually works because my eyebrows have never been this full. And I don't have naturally full eyebrows, obviously you guys know that. So yeah, if it could just fill in the middle part, I would be so happy. I feel like I need to redo the front of my twist again. And I'm like, I don't know if it's just them loosening up naturally or my hair is growing like that. And I'm kind of missing my real hair, which is like, ugh, I hate that. It's like, I have so many options. You know that like when you have so many options of what you can do with your hair, that you start missing a hairstyle that you did before. And I'm kind of missing like silk presses. But I know it's way too hot for silk presses right now. It's like dead summer in Texas. And two, I know, I'm like, I'm, tr I'm making sure to remind myself how my hair looks and it's not like the videos that I'm passing when they have like super thick, luscious hair, like, okay, my hair is not full. So I'm like, don't go running back to your silk presses and your hair is not ready yet. And by ready, I mean like hopefully a few inches have clustered up here so that when I take it down, it looks, and I don't even remember what my hair looks like, like the length. Maybe I could watch an old vlog and see what my hair looked like in length before I got my twist. But yeah, I think maybe we're in August, September, maybe like September for my birthday, I'll get my twist taken down and get a silk press. But then I'm like, what if I regret it and I want my twist back? I don't want to pay like $300, $400 again to get them twisted because that's how much I paid the first time and then every other time where I've retwisted them, it's been me because I know how to twist them. Like, I just don't know how to part my hair to put them in. So, I mean, honestly though, my hairstylist told me I could just pay her to uh, part my hair and I can just do my own hair, but I was like, I don't want to take up like a chair doing my own hair, you know what I mean? And then also, I don't want to get my hair parted and then like leave. <laughs> the premises looking like that <laughs> yeah so i don't know but yeah anyway guys i'm gonna end the vlog here because i can ramble all night if you let me i'm going to have my glass of wine i'm gonna heat up some honey garlic chicken that i made yesterday with y'all or just kind of like with music over the clip and honestly just end the night i think this weekend when i pick up the camera again we're gonna do the braised duck or like the marinated we're gonna try, we're gonna attempt it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hanging out with me. Honestly, like from Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four days, that's not bad. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did and stick around. I'll be uploading, honestly, pretty much like Thursday, Sunday. So 